all right so everybody i've taken this opportunity i've done meet up with my boy anoop i'm gonna show him this now he fixing up his face right so i want to send a couple of shout outs right so i want to shout out sandy beaches anna gera ed advantana hobby jacqueline madu florence kalicharan peggy hosein and chelsea gloria kanai amy susan pedro stephanie lopez and imano all right so it's sunday evening my spirit's high i wasn't feeling on top of the world today but anu called me and he said hey, i live in san fernando i'm coming to meet all you i'm coming to meet you now so i'm outside here right we climbing right on the foothills of the northern range all right it's years since i've been here this is hot shots all right so i want to thank susie she had me looking sharp in my hat all right susie drop this hat for me you know susie bring this hat for me you know yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh gosh so people it's just a normal evening some friends got up and it's Anup and two of his partners and we just go in and have a relaxing evening. Alright? Feel good to be outside here. Yes. Big spacious car park. Alright, so people, we lime in here at Hot Shots. Alright? I have Anup. Well, all you're supposed to know this man, right, Anu? Evening, everybody. Yes, and this is his good friend Terry. All right, and we have one more person in the house, but he went inside to get something. No, Terry is the first time that I'm meeting Terry, and Terry has a life experience that he really wants to share with everyone. All right, it is a success story all right but of course he went through a very terrible time and he is here to share his story with us hey. you go ahead my brother all right so well my name is Vidish Terry Lalde and well, I am I was invited by Anup to spend this evening here so um, I get this opportunity to share my testimony so I'm gonna give it my best shot so at a very young age, um, I was about 12 years old. Uh, I grew up in a broken home and my father would beat my mom, put out, drink, gamble. And at a very young age, my mother, she couldn't take it no more that she, she drank poison. And from that age, I was on my own, 12 years of age. I didn't go to school from there. No, my father did he support me financially or bought any clothes because he was gambling. Um, we didn't have no facilities where we had lights or internet, water or stuff. So wanting to know something, I, I, there was no knowledge available to me. I wanted to do what is right, but I did not know what or how. Nobody to give me a direction or say, well, okay, this is the way you could imagine that I cook, need flour and, and, and cook roti for years, not knowing that you had to put baking powder. Hmm. I mean, even somebody give you something is very easy in life. But I grew up like this for years, depressed, real depressed, with my mom passing away. And I just did not know what to do. At the age of 22, I, I found myself drinking very heavy alcohol every day I drunk. I smoke in marijuana like cigarette every time I want to smoke with a roll of marijuana and I found myself in such a depression and a negativity like you know it's like lie down in this negativity and every time you try to come out you wasn't able to come out of it and I sat down there and I, I my mind itself started to malfunction I would put up some food to cook and I would leave the food and I would go and cut grass and I will forget the pot will burn red hot and it's like the manager I'm a thought something went wrong inside my head and I did not know what to do and I sat down one day and I heard this little voice saying that 
Remember when you was young, you had a, a, a light, nice positivity that you should do your job and get it done and finish everything, function in your right mind. I do have that anymore. See, that is who God is in a person to function in your right mind. And discretion is God. And I realized that I lost God. And the question now is who was God? And I decided that I need to make a search and find God. So uh, I went, starting, uh, I was Hindu, I started to go to the temple. And I went to the temple and the Baba told a story that really, really made a difference. He said that the, there was this Baba who used to get up every morning and do a little prayers. And when he do that prayers, he used to blow the sank. And when he blow the sank, the neighbor donkey used to break and one one day he blew the sank and the donkey didn't break so he went and find out and the neighbor told him that the donkey died so within himself he thought that was a great soul and he do he little shaving and you know he do he prays and thing and he went out in the village the village saw him and asked him well, Baba what happened by what happened he said well Sanke Shana sure dead so the whole village ended up shaving the head and uh, a white man came down and asked him, well, so why everybody shaved their head? So they tell them, Sanke Shwana died, Sanke Shwana died. And the, the white man was curious to know, well, who is this great Sanke Shwana? So they tell him, well, go and ask the Baba. So when he went and he asked the Baba, the Baba said, well, look, that was the neighbor donkey. So the white man was like, so one donkey, you know, create so much donkeys. And I looked at myself and I looked at my life, I, I, I cussing, I drunk, earring in my ears, my hair blown up. And I was like, who am I following? What am I supposed to be? And with that interest in what am I supposed to be, I decided what does God really want from me? And I began to search. And I began to search and I started to read books and I, I read some stuff that they said that when your spirit is broken, see, so can talk still. I was really broken. I read, I read, and I continued to read. I realized that you know how we just think that this body's mind. They say when you think your body is yours, your 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 you break your spirit. You bring your spirit to a breach because you attach yourself to the world and everything in the world. So if you attach yourself to your car and it's yours, and somebody interferes with it, your spirit breaks. See, that has access to it. And I release everything. I say, okay, not in his mind. I give everything to God. And in my mind, I saw that Christ walking the earth with nothing. All the preachers, eternal life, and only who believe in him. And I grab onto them. And I was still smoking. I was still drinking. I was still had my behavior. And I started to, I go to God. I take up the Bible and I say, God, I, I can't help myself. And I started to read. While I smoke, I read. I smoke and I read. And I realized that your mind, what it have in it is what come out of it. And what I had is what I was doing. And I started to read. And while I read, the transformation of God started to take place. Um, today, I changed my life. It's 20 years now. I stopped smoke. I stopped drink. Uh, I, I'm not educated to say, well, get a, a good job. But wherever little I work, wherever I hustle, have a car, just get a little higher work. And I work, I buy a car, I fix a place, I get light, I have internet. I far better than when I started off. And it's all because that when I accepted Christ, a spirit came into me and gave me that strength to eliminate all the negatives in my life. And I, even my thinking pattern changed. Hmm. You know, and I hope that my testimony can reach some people, reach others who need it. Yes. So, do you do you attend any programs like EE? No. Or anything like that? No. Okay. Actually, what happened is that I had a lot of self-realization, and, and I realized that your, your mind is information, right? Thoughts. Your 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 drink, your smoke, is a memory in the past, but right. Five minutes ago, you may smoke a cigarette, but in front of you is a clear path of choice 
what thoughts you want to think right so what we live now is like a, a repeated program in our minds and we repeat the daily program every day so mm. you remember that you you smoke and you won back that moment mm. and you repeat it so you know you want to change you gotta you got to blank those thoughts you gotta blank the memories and, and replace it with something positive hmm very good how do you deal with um with like really bad negative thoughts do you ignore them or you confront them or you carry to the lord what you do okay first to begin with um the, the birth of the thought is important you're in a situation and you say that like let me let me use driving on the road and you were to get in a a little a man give you a little bad drive at that moment there is a little breach in your spirit right now remember any breach in your spirit satan has a little access to it from your thoughts so when that breach take place you see that man stupid or he dotish so repetition at these moments and you fuel your thoughts and after a couple of years that one moment is so magnified in your mind that when that man make a drive you want to come out and chop him right so psychologically people are not aware of the silent offenses that take place within them and they mind these spirit and after a couple of years they become really frustrated manifest and it is growing and they're not aware so you had to do so now and take back your mind and look at your thoughts look at these programmings and rethink the moments so it's like the law of attraction negative thoughts will bring negative negativity on the whole so uh guessing that you you try to think a lot of positivity i do i i, I well you can't think about what you don't know right yes for example like if you you want to think about that place in america and had you not been there you can't really think about it so it's about really where you you carry this this awareness of life and this existence and what atmosphere you're engaging is what thoughts you're engaging so you will think about it what if if we are wrong um let me say wrong cars and you're talking about b13 or b14 these are the cars that are wrong so these are the thoughts that you will think right if you go in a higher place and you talk about ferrari these are the thoughts you will think so it's all about where some of us may not have a choice to associate in high places yes. but we in the low grade places like a guy born in um lavantel and he's surrounded by these negative thoughts you know he have a lot a hard fight to get out if he knows that there's a way out right yeah. i understand your point yeah. well i want to ask you a question yeah. and we could edit it out if you have a problem with it i heard you mention about your dad yeah is your dad still alive nah, he passed in 2020 in 2020 yeah when he passed away were you all on speaking terms yeah i took care of him you know, he was on bed um despite he didn't wasn't really there for me when i came to god i asked god for the strength i said lord don't mind whatever um give me the strength to, to be there and take care of him i leave my jobs and i stayed home and was there for him and i, I wouldn't lie but that is one of the greatest blessings i think there is because after he died i felt really blessed for hmm. doing that duty and making the sacrifice because the bible did say honor your mother and father and your day shall be long and i i was really blessed by doing that knowing that you know he didn't deserve that and he didn't buy nothing for me and he has take care of me yes i'm at the school all these things he, he put all the money in the club you know i struggled because of his decision but you know what i say god i still don't mind the place was no lot i still have a little shelter. A, a little shelter where i live in and i gotta take that as my blessing I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah. I'm really happy to hear that. You bring a smile to my face, you bring tears to my eyes. Because, you know, many people, when they go through these kind of experiences, they, they hardly ever forgive. And you had that opportunity. And you also, you, you did your part as a child. You honored your father and your mother. 
and I'm happy for you that it happened because remorse is one of the greatest things that a person could experience and you felt satisfied at the end of the day that a hey, you put everything behind and you honored your father hmm. well i really wasn't expecting that something as fantastic like this will happen this evening <laughs> So people listen. We chatting here with Terry, alright? And I understand exactly what is happening to him. Alright? We were just speaking and he was mentioning that you know he really doesn't understand how this whole thing works you see unfortunately he never met the right people and i know that in my youtube channel here he's going to get the support that is needed he's accustomed to having doors closed on him but you know, I was just telling him, I was just telling him that he, many doors are going to open for him. You know why? He just opened the door. He just allowed us to experience what he went through. This man has opened his heart to us and we all appreciate it. Don't we? Of course we do. All right. So my brother, I want to tell you something. You may have been opening your mouth in the past to speak but you may not have been speaking to the right people and god has given you the opportunity today to be able to meet with the right set of people all right i could guarantee you that in this community that we working so hard to build a lot of people are going to support you i'm not talking about financial support I am talking about emotional support, spiritual support, words of encouragement. And you will see people are going to flood this, this video with positive comments. They're going to be coming to you. They're going to be uplifting you. Positivity. And we urge you to become a member of this community. You starting to feel different? Of course. All right? And you will see the old pouring love that people are going to send to you, my brother. And I know by the time we finish, chill out here today. Because this is not no ordinary line we on. Alright? This is life we're discussing. And you're going to leave here feeling like a million dollars. Yeah? yeah? That smile, you see? You see what we're talking about? <laughs> yeah? I love the man smiling. Yeah. All right. And this is the other friend. What's his name? Mohan. My boy? Mohan. Mohan. All right. So so nice to be chilling out with all your man. Let me see that smile again. Yeah, look how you're smiling, brother. When last you smile, so yeah. Uh, a little while. A little while. Yeah. yeah that's what we talking about, man. No Positive man. vibes. He never smiles so. You gotta ask your boy donkey how he does check his ears because it's donkey ears here. It's donkey ears, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You ask your boy donkey how he does check them ears. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah man. So I hear talking earlier on about, you know, um, creating like good patterns, you know, like giving reference to Christ and that kind of thing. What were some of the things that, that you altered in your life? What, like you will pray every morning? Well, life life is really challenging. If uh, how we live, the, the, especially with the financial budget that we have, the expense, and and sometimes the labor is not free, you know. So, so for a person to really come to God now, they it, it needs a you need to take a little moment of your life to 
deposit into your mind and because the time you your working time taking up every day right and to learn about God now is, is really challenging because you don't have a mentor so the only thing I can suggest to, to people out there is that same way you get up in the morning and you brush your teeth you don't forget to brush your teeth right so your mind run a repeated program a daily program of thoughts you brush your teeth you drink a cup of tea you bathe you change your clothes and you run your program so at the end of the day you take a moment one moment and you say well look you know what i'm going and read a chapter in the bible you choose to start from a book you say to the book of proverbs which proverbs is a book that will change you will see spirit at work in you and you, you will cast out the spirit once as you recognize them is that is not you that is spirit yeah. and yeah. you take that that moment and you read a chapter every night from proverbs and you just go up if you miss two three days but you, you continue where you read from every day you read you grow every day you read you, you climb a ladder is there's no going back down it's right. always going forward and that will change your whole that alone will cause your life to change yes very good terry you're inspiring me too all right i know that i should be reading my scriptures a lot more and of course we give respect to all other religions if you're muslim you're reading the quran if you're christian the bible hindu Bhagavad Gita, all right so people find you give reverence to your higher power this is the message here now we're going to close off the video and if any of y'all would like to support terry he offers taxi services remember he's from the Debe area all right and if you need his services to go to the airport come back things are wrong the tongue all right give him a call support him all right terry um anything you want to add in closing well uh, i i do i cut grass with cpep and then i take firewood by appointment by appointment by appointment so you know um, at the end of the day i wouldn't really set up anybody because spontaneous calls uh, i wouldn't be able to maintain right so you prefer somebody call you in advance yes I'm right an appointment so you know it, everything runs smooth that way okay so let me say somebody happens to be at the grocery store and want to hire your car to pick them up at the grocery drop them home you do that no, sort of thing that, that wouldn't work out because if i want to hire work and you call me spontaneously um it might, be, might be hard to maintain right. that but if you want to go grocery and you say well okay friday i'm going grocery for two o'clock i know well i'll pick you up at two o'clock and you go your grocery and double that. fair enough yeah. that's fair yeah right well terry my brother yeah. i want to wish you all the best in your future endeavors all right um continue to trust in god all right keep your energies positive all right my brother you open up to us and people are going to open back to you doors are going to open all right yeah. let me see that nice smile one more time yeah all right so guys we're looking to say goodbye all right, so then lots of love. Love to everyone. Yes, my brother. Yeah, man. All right. Keep it fine. Yes, man. <laughs> yeah. All right.